Coach, well, exhale after that final couple of minutes, which were uh, hectic and crazy. I know a win is certainly the best result and the most important one to focus on, but how do you grade kind of how things went? Can you take it a little bit a piece at a time, or, or does that uh, that ending kind of loom large over everything? You know what? What What is funny is this. We talk about um, late-game situations, and, you know, we talk about practice time, right, Scott? We've been talking about practice time. And so it's crazy. Before we left, even though it didn't show necessarily – we did a lot of late game situations, both teams, and we, we call a thing called sixty sixty game, where you know once the first team gets to sixty three, we start the two minute clock, and so we have a lot of those situations where, you know, we try to put pressure on our guys, say one and one, and um, hey, you gotta go to the free throw line, you're up one, whatever it may be, you gotta hit both these free throws to go up three or whatever it may yep. be, and so our guys understand what they need to do. Um, I think you know they got a little nervous up there, which is, which is well, it's always been good. a couple of weeks since. You've been in this situation. Yes, yes. And, and the thing is, you really want to be in, a, in, in multiple situations <laughs> right, like this. Right, right, yeah. And so it was, uh, it was a good learning lesson to see that our guys had focus, to get a roll win, to get a win on a Thursday for us. Yeah, how um, about that? First one um, of the, the first, conference season. Man, first one. Jeez. You know, first one. And so for us, um, like I said, we're just glad we had the win. Uh, learning lessons. We'll watch the family tonight. We'll break it down. We'll look over tomorrow, and then we'll get ready for lifts on Saturday. Well, I know one of the, the key focuses is being has been like bringing effort, energy at the start of games, and you certainly had that here tonight. I mean, you fall down two nothing, and next thing you know, the next time they score, it's it's twenty two to two. You know, it, so as far as setting a tone early, especially in a road game, what what did you like that you saw from this group? I like that we you know we, we changed things up. You know, we uh, we changed up the start lineup a little bit. Um, we thought that you know guys would give us a, a certain energy, and then we felt like. We need to, you know, get a boost off the bench as well. And so I think everybody who came in tonight um, and guys who play, you know, you see a guy like Jarius Cook. You know, we just gave him praise in the locker room. He showed up. You know, they played zone. He was able to make shots. Yep. Um, he was he was very confident in making those shots. And he's a guy who's been watching film, who's been trying to get better over the, over the last week or so. And so, you know, multiple guys on our team stepped up. You look at a guy like Kevin Nolan who understands, you know, he, he told me, he said, Coach, I understand we can still play our way into this thing. And so I just want to make sure every game I give it my all and leave it on the floor. And so, like I said, I just, you know, I was proud of our guys. Omar Payne, uh, Jared Cook, those guys coming to those starting roles, they are really good tonight. Hey, listen, Coach, there have been a couple of furious rallies in which you've ended up on the wrong side of them, so it was about time this group ended up on the right <laughs> side of one of those furious late game rallies. And, you know, we could take this and, hey, Makes everything a little bit better going into Saturday at Lipscomb. Appreciate you joining us here in the postgame, as always. Appreciate it, Scott. Thanks so much.